Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike and Lola. She wants to get in on the action. You want to say hello to everybody? This is my sheep -a doodle Behind her is my 1998 or 1997 BMW 740i that has given me nothing but trouble. Yes, I promised in last week's video that we would get her started. She didn't really start. So in this video, we're going to address another issue and I guarantee you on Lola's paw right here that she's gonna start and then we're gonna drive her and then we're going to love her just as much as we love you. Mm, thank you. You really have to be kidding me, right? See all the little pistons? All right, it looks like snow. <laughs> I'm flooring a V12 engine. You thought this was gonna be perfect, right? Why can't I like fall in love with a Lexus? Monkey. Wrench. Wrench. Mike. Mike. Yay! I'm Let's in the car. All right, well, we have removed one fuel injector. This car is fighting me more than any other car I think I've ever, ever, ever had. So really, to remove the fuel injector, you remove the black boxes, the electrical connectors here. You're supposed to remove the throttle cables, this little housing right here, but these bolts are stripped. They're stripped. You can't, you can't get them off. Then you have to remove the inlet and the outlet, or the outlet and the inlet, whichever is which side. There's little rubber hoses there, and they're teeny tiny little clamps. Four 10 millimeter uh, nuts, and this thing lifts up. And this, this is what you get. Okay, I could get this out, but I have to remove that fuel line going into the fuel rail right here and I really can't reach it my back hurts so we're just going to run to O'Reilly's and we're going to get some new o-rings okay and these are metal on each end on a Mercedes they're plastic and they break when they get old this looks like it's metal so I can cut this off carefully and slide the new ones on over because they're still going to be pliable these these are rock hard yeah this is like a little wheel turning on here this is yeah these aren't yeah, this is a hot mess. So we'll go to O'Reilly's, we'll get some parts, some carb cleaner, and I'll show you how you can clean these things out very, very easily. A lot of people will use a tire stem. Hmm, how does that work? We will show you in just a minute. So I'll be back. All right, welcome to the world's smallest and most unorganized work table. We're out here enjoying the day. I got the music on the radio. I have my Come out to jet spray. What we did, we went to uh, O'Reilly's. We got a whole bunch of these little fuel injector seals and we got two tire stems, okay? What you can do is you take out the Schrader valve, you drill a hole and you kind of epoxy this in right here and it becomes your fuel system, okay? So what you have to do is energize this and then squirt the fuel at the same time, okay, it's gonna come down here into the bottle. Of course, I'm missing my alligator clips with uh, the little rubber piece on them, so I gotta be very careful I don't touch anything so I don't get any little sparkages or anything like that. So I've kind of temporarily, these are terrible. These are really, really bad. Okay, hopefully they'll work though. And I have a nine volt battery here as my power source. So the idea is to, this is terrible and I can't find, okay. I can't find my alligator clips with the rubber thing on them already. So this is all sketchy. This is really, really sketchy. So if you apply power right here, you should hear the fuel injector open. Hear it? So it's opening. What we need to do is apply the fuel right here. And then we're gonna watch for a spray pattern right here. Okay, let's give it a little fuel. And you ready? Here we go.
See how it's getting better? I'm getting a lot of drippage from my terrific fuel cell right here. I wish I had a longer one of these. See? See how it's getting better? Okay, then we reverse and we clean it in reverse, which is really tricky because this thing pops out all the time. Because it's a bigger area right here. Okay. Well, that's good for the fuel injector. There we go. Okay. Let's just see if it works, hopefully so. Now this isn't gonna be a spray pattern because we're just cleaning out the filter, the reverse. See, it's just gonna drip. There is a teeny tiny filter in there. And this is cleaning that out. And you can buy kits to rebuild these. I didn't think about that. See how much better that is? We're gonna call that a win. This is gonna be dirty, but I'm gonna do this to all eight. I'll show you one more. We have red and blue, so what would you prefer? What do we do? We did two blue ones, let's do a red one. Let's just see what's gonna happen here. Some of these are pretty pliable, so maybe Somebody did replace these in the not so distant past. Let's just let a rip tater chip across the driveway. Let's see what's gonna happen. See how it gets stronger? That is pretty decent. Okay, I like that. Yeah, watch this. I'd say that's a nicely cleaned injector. That's the way to do it. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is one very finely tuned and cleaned and lubricated fuel rail with fuel injectors Nicely attached and cleaned. We can still adjust them depending on how the uh, little connectors are on those black boxes. That's gonna be the fun part. But this, I couldn't be more pleased. I love it. I really think, I hope this is it. It couldn't hurt, so it can only help, all right? Let's get this back on the car and then we will hopefully, hopefully, see if there's any life left in this old girl. Before we put this all back together, I do wanna check and see if we're getting fuel sufficiently so i have one fuel and i don't know if this is the inlet and that goes back to the tank or vice versa so i have one bottle here and i have one bottle over there with a shorter hose so what i want to do is just turn the key for a second and see if we're getting any gasoline so look over there or look right here hopefully we won't have a fire Do we have any gas? A little bit of gas here. How about over there? Zero. So that must be where gas comes in right here. This is the uh, inlet to the engine or the fuel rail. And let's just kind of see what happens. We don't have a whole lot coming in. Well, doggy, we thinks that we have fixed it. All right, so 
I checked everything. Everything absolutely is perfect. So we have fuel coming in here. I jumped with the fuel relay. Lots of fuel came up. That's the exit back to the tank. I have the new, newly cleaned injectors. I have an extra thing right here. I don't know what it goes to. <laughs> I haven't recognized this before but I don't see where it went and I think it was just there before. anyways. Okay, so we're gonna ignore that. We have the throttle cables, everything's connected. We have the coils connected to the packs that are connected to the fuel injectors. And I think we're good. I even have a fancy light to make sure that you can see how this car performs because she's gonna start, ah! I hope. Are you ready? This is it. Without further ado, without further interruptions from Lola, Please start. And if you don't start, I'm gonna jump with the fuel relay and force fuel down your throat. Here we go. Two gallons of fresh gas, so the fuel is nice and good. Come on. Here we go. And look at that. She, oh yes! Don't die, don't die. Come back to life. Come back to life. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Run, baby, run. Come on. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. No, 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 come on. Heal thyself. Heal thyself. Do we have gas coming in? No gas, no gas leakage. Oh, 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 I think I think we fixed her. Look at this. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Thank you, thank you. Fan is fanning, engine's running. Come on, just idle. Idle, 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 idle all day. Come on. Come on. Thank you. This is it. I think we beat her. We beat the demons. Don't die. Come on. Come on. Commensure, run a explore a bay. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. Well, I would call that a big old win. Yep, we did it. We did it, Lola. We did it. Give me a high five. High five. You don't know what to do, do you? Yeah, there it is. Thank you. What have you been eating? Ugh, ugh, yucko. All right. That is a win for both us and the uh, 740i. We did it. Mwah. All right, so what's next for the car? Well, we fill it with water and we see if there's any leaks. We do a head gasket test and we take it around the block. Ha <laughs> ha, that's gonna be in the next video. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do next. So, thank you for watching everybody. This has been the best day ever. It was the worst day ever about 10 minutes ago. Now it's the best day ever. See, never give up. Never give up. Say goodbye to the people. Say goodbye to the people. Look at this face. Oh, look at that face right there. Okay, folks, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And give me a comment what you think about the uh, Big Beamer and what should be next for it. I am actually soaking the seats in some leatherique because they were like hard and one seat was actually tearing. So they are kind of soaking and we'll clean the interior out. Maybe I'll make a video of that, maybe not. We'll detail it up real quick and then we'll bring you another video. I'm happy as can be. All right, thanks for watching everybody. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye everybody.